How's it going guys? I just picked up this rice cooker and it was only like 17 bucks and I'm very interested in knowing how does this thing know when to stop heating your rice because you could put in a variable amount of rice and water in this thing and somehow it's going to need to know when to stop heating because if it keeps heating you're going to set off a fire and have a big lawsuit. And so I was doing a little bit of reading on this thing. I thought I'd share with the answer with you guys because I think it's super cool stuff. So basically with these things, the way they work is they rely on the different temperature that your heated mixture of rice and water will reach at different times. And so when there's water present, the temperature of this thing will never rise above 100 degrees Celsius because water is evaporating. It's taking that thermal energy with it. And by evaporating, it's literally taking that energy out of this thing, keeping that temperature, even though more heat's being added to that mixture, it's keeping the temperature of that mixture around 100. So basically, as soon as the temperature of this thing exceeds 100, that's how this thing knows to stop heating. And so how would you have a sensor to detect this? Because we're not just gonna have a thermo probe and a little controller because those get expensive. There's actually a material property that's super awesome. And um, this is a material property in which some particular metals will change their magnetism based on temperature. So when a certain metal reaches a specific temperature, it will stop being magnetic. And so basically what happens in this thing is when you turn this little switch, it will create that, it'll start powering the little heater inside this thing. And then once the temperature of your mixture of rice and water, uh, or at that point, just rice, steamed rice, uh, reaches that point and starts heating up even further, it's going to cause magnets inside this thing to stop being magnetic. And when they stop being magnetic, that's the cue for this thing to turn off and stop heating it. So that is how these things work. I think it's super cool. It's super cheap too, which is why this thing only costs 17 bucks instead of, you know, you look at those other super fancy rice cookers um, and those ones are using a bunch of other sensors and probes and more expensive things, but you can get away with some very simple material properties and good engineering on these things. And that's why I love it. And so um, that's gonna wrap things up for this video, but I hope we're out there doing well. I'll talk to you guys next time and be well.